Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Shredded Content brought to you by Flash Custom Transfers. And in today's video, we are going to talk about business, some strategies that you can use to help grow your business in 2022. We got about half the year left and I'm going to help you grow your business. So let's go ahead and let's get into the video. Okay guys, so my name is Carl and I own Flash Custom Transfers with my wife. That is our business. That is the business that we use to help fund our everyday life. So the money that comes from that business, we use to pay for bills and expenses and leisure things and investments. And that's what we built. On top of that, we also have our YouTube channels. I am straight out of content. My wife, she has a VSG channel and she also manages and runs the main business YouTube channel, which is Flash Custom Transfers. That's where we have some products here on the table. You guys can go and check that out at flashcustomtransfers.com if you do not know what we do here at Shredded Content. If you also, if this is your first time tuning in and you're really interested in business, please go ahead, hit that notification bell, also hit that like button. We are doing very well this year with our business. And if you wanna learn some of the tips and tricks and strategies that we use, this channel is the right channel for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the video with our slogan, which is BASIC. It's an acronym and that stands for Business Automotive Sports Investing and Creating. And that's what this channel was created on. Even though a lot of things came from the channel, boxing, sports, uh, the, the crafting, the DTF and stuff like that, at the core of our business between Chelly and I, we really truly like to keep everything basic. So in this video, we're going to touch on just some strategies that we use that can help you grow your business in 2022. So I just want to give an example. I just got off the phone probably a few hours ago with my wife's little cousin. Uh, he's about 23 years old and probably a few months, maybe about March, he came to us letting us know that he wants to be an entrepreneur. He doesn't know how, but he wants to be an entrepreneur. He sees his big cousin, Chelly, my wife, and he sees myself and he sees some of the uh, finance numbers that we show every now and then. Again, we never show our numbers to brag or boast. That's not what we do that for. We show our numbers to, to certain people. Or we show our numbers online to inspire. So he was very inspired and he said, Carl, Chelly, I want to become an entrepreneur. At the time, he was still working his uh, full-time job, which is paying well. He just had a newborn baby and him and his wife were looking to kind of break into this new world of entrepreneurship. You see a lot of stuff on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram of people doing it. And he also sees us doing it and he really wondered how. So we had a big conversation. And just recently, I just wanted to, I just, I was really inspired to make this video because we had a really long conversation that day. And fast forward now, that was March. I was like March or April. Fast forward to today, and he is right on the brink of getting his own detail shop. Now, when he came to us, that was never in the cards. His, to, for him to have a detail shop at 23 years old, a full-blown detail shop, that was not, that wasn't even out there. So the strategy that Shelly and I use that got us to this point today, as we push, uh, as we push very close to 200 grand and we want to finish the year strong, close to $400,000 for flash, flash custom transfers. As we push these types of numbers uh, to that half a million mark, and then next year we want to do a million in sales. That is one of the strategies that he was able to take and that a lot of people don't necessarily take advantage of. And that strategy is consistency. So we talked to him about videos. We talked to him about recording. We paid for his Adobe Premiere so that he could edit videos. And then we just gave our suggestions on which avenues he should choose to start the process of becoming an entrepreneur. We gave him literature to read, books and stuff like that. And then on his own, without anybody knowing, he started the process, the grueling process, and he started putting in work. Again, mind you, he wasn't messaging us. We had no clue. Some days we didn't, 
whenever we didn't see videos or anything and stuff like that, we had no clue what he was doing. And there were even some doubts from Chelly and I, like wondering like, well, what is he doing? But he never spoke. He never really told us what he was doing. Up until recently, when we started seeing a full-blown website, he set up a, few, a Square account so that he could accept payments. And he started detailing. At one time, he was doing concrete and uh, I think house pressure washing. And he merged that and developed that into detailing. So I just want to say that what he, if you start somewhere, you really don't know where you're going to end up. But as long as you start and continue to work on your business, the business side of things, and that's what I really admire about him, what he was able, he was able to take the business sense that we were able to give him, and he was really able to go and execute that part of what is now soon to be his own shop within like a few months. So that's something that Chelly and I worked on with us whenever her and I first started. The number one thing that we worked on behind the scenes outside of the grueling hard work was the business. Okay, guys, we're gonna, we're gonna have soon, we're gonna have Chelly here and she's gonna be um, joining the conversation to give her perspective. But like I was saying, Chelly and I first started out of our house with just a t-shirt business. Shirts on demand. You come to us for a shirt, we want to make it. You don't have that any minimums. And because I was growing my YouTube channel at the time, I was uh, here in Houston, I was around a lot of YouTubers, a lot of decent size and big YouTubers. We're talking 50,000, over 100,000 subscriber YouTubers. So my goal was to bring a value to them. And how do we do that? Well, we do that by creating their clothing line. They all want merch. They're all trying to sell t-shirts and stuff like that. I think that we can fill that void for them. So that was what we did. Outside of the manual labor, the business side of it, as far as accepting payments and being, being, professionally, uh, being professional there, uh, websites, LLCs, paperwork, taxes, all of that stuff was being done religious, uh, uh, budgets, budget, budgeting is probably the most, the biggest thing when it comes to a business is budgeting. This is before we had our store. This is before everything. This is what we were doing even while I was still working, uh, at the hospital. So I just want to say that that is a, these are the strategies that you have to put into place. If you want to grow your business, anybody can pick up a paintbrush and start getting orders or start getting projects to go paint somebody's inside or exterior of their house, right? Anybody can do that. But when you turn that grind, that hustle into an actual business, that's when you can scale it. It's very hard. And that's the reason why I never use the word hustle in anything that I do, because hustles aren't designed to be scaled. A business is scalable. And if you are going to get into the world of entrepreneurship, the, the goal is to grow. The goal isn't to create something and then with whatever you create, you stop and then you show off what you've accumulated at that point. Businesses scale, hustles don't. Okay, guys, so now we have Miss Flash Custom Transfers here. She's also going to join us on this uh, on this conversation with you guys. Uh, you know that we sometimes like to do our podcast and stuff like that. So this is why we created this nice background and this nice little setup so that we can have a conversation with you guys and go over business. And just like I said, just some strategies that we used to help us take our business to where it is now. So what I was just telling them, babe, was that... Uh, your little cousin in a very short period of time, when we all talked and had that conversation, nobody knew that he would be detailing. That no. was like the last. He didn't even know. <laughs> right. That was like the last thing. So I don't know if you want to touch on um, how as long as you just put your head down, which is exactly what he did. We didn't hear from him. And I told the, I told the people that we even thought, like, what is he doing? It's been right? about three months. Right. We were thinking like, 
We had some doubts, right? But he actually just had his head down, no different than us, just really grinding to get to the point to where he is now. And in a short period of time, the universe handed him, you know, a huge opportunity. So I just uh, wanted you to kind of touch on that as well to give the people, you know, just some insight on how that works. Yeah, well, just to touch on the conversation that me and you had earlier, as far as we give everyone the jewels, we get every give everyone each lesson, each experience that we have learned throughout our experience, and then they just do whatever they can with it. So like you said, we gave baby George all of these tools, all of this advice, you know, this path, this is a good path, go down this path. And we expected him to go down that path, but he didn't. He stayed quiet for three months and he was like, I heard everything you guys said. I took everything in consideration and this is how I applied it towards my own plan that me and my wife created. This is the plan that, you know, we've created. Him and his wife created something, which was beautiful. We It was unexpected, which I did see, continue to see, you know, because he sold his uh, equipment. He was like, okay, Telly and Carl, yeah. I am going to go down your plan, d down your road. I'm going to sell my equipment and I'm going to focus on creating content, creating that YouTube channel for him and his family. What, a few weeks later? He bought More back effect. his equipment and started back on his um, detailing. All we can do is be supportive. We've all been there. We've all been young with the family. We've all had bills that need to be paid. And, you know, we've all been in that situation. So sometimes certain things have to be put aside. And then you go into your um, hustle, as you say. And well, he didn't actually go back into detailing. No, he, he went, didn't start. I'm talking. I'm not. I'm not detailing. No, you had said that. You had, you had said that. Oh, you had said well, he went back into detailing, but he actually did. No, yeah, he just started detailing. He went back into pressure washing there once he go. bought his uh, equipment back. So it was just good to see that he did take everything and did get um, some good jewels from our conversation that we had and applied it to his own journey and his own life. And he's. It's just the beginning for all of us. It's yeah. the beginning for him. You know, every step. I was thinking about yesterday in our journey, each year we've elevate, elevated our businesses and our brands in our, um, in our journey. So it's just the beginning for, for him. So I'm excited to see his journey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. So those, again, that, that is a huge strategy. Uh, the number one strategy is to just put your head down and just focus on whatever you're doing, but whatever you're doing at that day might not be what you're doing a year down the line. As we, as I had my five-year plan, you know, I wanted a, 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 a FCD vinyl and apparel store in Cypress Spring. That was my, that was my goal. That was my, you know what I mean? And then now that's not even, uh, <laughs> that's not even. No interest. No interest at all. <laughs> None at all. Right. Even though we, and, but we have a lot more now. Yeah. And like I always say, you don't fail at business, you learn. So what we did with our store, FCD Vinyl and Apparel, I don't feel like it failed just because, you know, it didn't live up to what we had planned for. it. We learned from every part of that experience and got us where we are today. Yeah. So baby George might be, you know, home pressure washing today, detailing tomorrow, next year, he might who knows where who knows? that's going to take him? He's are obviously already making connections and opening up doors for himself. Um, you know, just as the business owner that he made connections with that will be helping him, you know, with his space, with his retail, not retail, a uh, detail space. Yeah. That's already connections and, you know, networking. And that guy's going to provide business for him. So that, who knows where that relationship goes. And that's good to have those types of relationships too, those business relationships. Yeah. And that other people, cause it was his father, Mr. Killing Every Day, who actually facilitated that, that deal. Yeah. So again, that's just one of the many strategies that we wanted you guys to just hear, uh, just hear like a little story. Uh, some other things that we'll touch on, we're not going to make the video too long, but other strategies that we have or that I was touching on before you got here, babe, mm -hmm. was just was that um, he really focused on his business. 
Yes. Like the taxes, the, 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 the budget, you know, the budgeting is number one. A lot of, and that's what I was saying, like the difference in like hustle and businesses. Mm, the prof- professionalism. The professionalism, mm-hmm. exactly. Getting that booking app, getting that square app. system, having um, a place for your clients to look at a catalog of the menu of services you provide. Yep. Also able to book those online at their earliest convenience where they're, you know, they don't have to say, hey, what do you have open for next Saturday? What do you have open for Tuesday at three or four? You know what I mean? It gives uh, that client that control um, their schedule as much as your schedule and that just being that professionalism with having booking options for an app it, it's our it just kind of takes you to the next level because I know you know people who still have full-blown six-figure businesses and does everything through text message and yeah. you know and it doesn't have a proper uh, merchant pay yeah, paid merchant. Like a... A, a merchant service? Yeah, yeah, they still just um, accept Venmo and Cash App and things like that, which is fine. It works, but it kind of just separates you from other uh, businesses. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And so, yeah, and that's the thing between hustle and business. Yeah. And to just touch separates. on that, that translates into our world when it comes to vinyl and apparel and sublimation and DTF and DTG and, and screen print transfers and stuff like that this business is very saturated and we we found out the hard way we found out that everybody's making shirts we Mm -hmm. find out that a lot of people are doing a lot of things in that space and how could we separate ourselves from everybody else and that's when we really heavily invested into transfers which now we have sublimation uh products sticker products and then we've got a brand new product about to hit soon as well that should be a banger. Yeah, you and also I mean? we offer um, startup uh, equipment on yeah, our website equipment. as well. You know, that's something that sets us aside too. Yes, and the what's ha- what what I kind of wanted to t- uh, to touch on because we kind of we see it a lot, and this is you know this is why we created this platform so that we can talk, so people can listen, and maybe you guys can learn. A lot of people do podcast episodes and stuff like that, and they don't necessarily break down, you know, the truth. Because you're hearing a lot of things out here with all these different platforms or what you can and can't do in regards to business. And we use this platform to share our exact experience so that you guys can at least start down a path and then start to create your own, like you said, with Baby George and Big George and your and your and your Nenas and Denas. Nena, and Denas hi, hi whatever. Nena. Oh yeah, like we said earlier, we have a template. It works. Yeah. Here you go. Use it at your own discretion and figure out how it will work for you. But it works. Yeah. So <laughs> to touch on her professionalism, if anybody out here is watching this and you guys are in this world of sublimation cups or stickers or, or uh, vinyl or you're making merch and stuff like that we see a lot of people on tiktok and you, in instagram and youtube we see so many people on there but it's not a business yet and some people i see who have a really good like one of their social media so one of those three titans of social media they're doing really well um there's actually a guy here in houston he does really well on tiktok but it's not a full on business. You know what I mean? And I see it and we've actually reached out, but I've just, it's just, that's just where it's at. There, there hasn't been any growth within the last six months. Cause I, I pay attention to all, I pay attention to everybody out there. So whenever I look at our growth and see how fast we grew, and then I look at other people and they're doing the same exact thing, just making different videos. Uh, there has to come a day for your business. If you want to do it just for social media and likes, Or if you actually want to do it to have a business that fully funds everything that you want. Well, we won't say what's coming up, but there's a, you're about to do something very special for the first time in your life due to our business. (laughs) Don't, yeah, 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 right? I'm like, what are you talking about? (laughs) But I'm giving up, that's because of the business. Yeah, You see what I'm saying? So she's about to really, yeah, she's about to do something really special for her life. It's a, but it's because of the business and the income that the business provides. Mm-hmm. So if you guys are watching this and you are thinking about getting into, you know, t-shirts or anything, stuff like that, we put out this content so that you can watch us, but look to scale. Mm-hmm. 
at all times. And don't just watch, you know, how to press a shirt and about transfers. Watch business, peer. Watch how to invest. Watch, watch how to budget. Like, really do your research. Read, read a lot or listen. Audio. How many audio books have you and I listened to? You know what I mean? Or read? Aren't you in a book? You're in the middle of a book mm -hmm. right now, right? Which one? The Four Disciplines of Execution. The Four Disciplines of Execution. I was given that, and I'm going to let you go. I was given that book uh, by an old boss of mine at the last hospital. So go. No, that's it. I just found it. And I was like, oh, I definitely need help with executing things. <laughs> I'm like, why not? Let me hear the four disciplines. So I am just started it. So I'll let you know how it goes. Right. And I haven't even read it. Um, chess. Uh, Chelly learned how to play chess. And now she plays it way more than I do. She's always <laughs> playing it. These things, though, these these types of um, books and literature and games and stuff like that, they really change your mind. The critical thinking. The crit Yeah, there you go. That really helps with that. Mm -hmm. they really, it really helps you with critical thinking. So, of course, we can get on here and talk about, like, the shirts and, and the transfers and stuff like that. But to me, today, I just didn't feel like that that was, the, that was a valuable video to really give uh, to the people out there. And, again, I'm being very general. Please ask questions in the comments down below so that we can answer them specifically so that the next time Chella and I actually have the time to sit down and record, we can actually answer those uh, specifically. And again, we will do lives, but if we do lives, you guys got to jump on so that we can answer your business questions specifically. A lot of people ask, you know, how to do this and how to do that. I even seen, we even had some transfers for, um, for, for a political race, right? What are you talking about? Those transfers that was for a political race? Oh, yeah. I forgot what, right. what it said on there. But yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It was for a political race. So that tells me if you're that close, if you're that close to a political party and you're responsible for making their merch or transfers, you're doing a really good job. And you should definitely, definitely look to get some type of grant or bigger contract or be the first one in line for contracts and then looking to really scale it if you already aren't. But that's just just a tip. Again, we just wanted to use Baby George as an example since he was the one who called me a few hours ago, just really excited. Like, hey, Carl, I wanted to tell you that, you know, I'm about to get my own shop, man. This is crazy. You know what I mean? Thank you for having that conversation and stuff like that. And which even before this, hmm. I just even before this, I, mean, I forgot what he did. I just wanted to call him and just, oh, when I seen his website. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they just you, they just take the jewels. Um, just to touch on Scrubaholics, my cousin Nina, I also gave her the template. I said, you know, here's a. This is what I did: A, B, C, D, taxes, um, website, social media, the breakdown of every single thing I did. She it flourished. She made it her. She took all of the information I was expecting. You know, a uh, reach out like, hey, how do you do this? Hey, how do you do this? And it was quiet. All I saw was her online presence, pushing, pushing, promoting, promoting. And it's just another example of, you know, and her, her business is also transitioning. She doesn't just do scrubs. Now she has, uh, ID badges, medical grade, uh, all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, she has a lot of accessories that all of the medical professionals need as far as there's this like wrist thing that you write the, um, blood pressure and st mm. the stats because she says she used to write them on her hands mm. there's pins there's badges there's uh keyhole there's all kinds of things so she's kind of did her own thing with her scrubaholics not just having scrubs now she has accessories as well so she's she's actually really growing she she's impressed with her own business on how well it's scaling so it's good to see uh it's good to see those yeah. Success stories. No success <laughs> so, stories. So far, everyone we've helped yeah. and that has applied it has been successful at what they're doing. Yep. And that leads us into Big George in a couple days. What is it? Thursday. So in two days, uh, George Killing Every Day. You guys have seen him on the channel. You guys have, well, if you haven't seen him on the channel, go just type in Killing Every Day. <laughs> killing Every Day. Go Google it. Uh, it's her uncle and he is actually killing it. He will be doing his first booth. Fitness, yeah, the American Fitness Expo. American yeah, Fitness booth. Expo. Oh, mm -hmm. He will have his own booth there this Saturday and Sunday. So if you are in the Houston area or around the Houston area, if you're actually in Texas, please come out. Go check out Killing Every Day. He will be there. Go check out all his other videos. He 
has his own press, and he pressed up how many shirts? 165. 165 shirts. Bagged them, pressed them, folded them, did it all himself. Him and his wife, they really killed it. <laughs> they and they've been they've been with us since the beginning. So you know they're they're really the OGs, and yeah. it's just good to see that this right here is a really a big part in the in the killing everyday business as they look to expand their fitness business and 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 everything that comes along with it. So we're just really proud of everybody. Just wanted to you know take this time out to just congratulate everybody, and we hope that if you guys have any questions, we are able to, you know maybe talk to you guys personally or. Do something. We're still working on that because we don't want to have your typical, you know, like pay us to help you or something like that. That's not what we want. That's why we like to do lives to answer people's questions. Uh, we will have other, you know, episodes where her and I talk more specific on things. Um, like I said, I had always wanted to congratulate the kid. And then he reached out to me with some more information. So now this this congratulations and this flowers this is just to him, but I want anybody out here watching just to know that somebody else's success story can be your success story as well. We are not people who, you know what I mean? It's not like we had a lot. And Did we, you touch on how the universe kind of opens up for you once you dedicate your life? I did not. You can if you like. Oh, okay. Uh, well, just thinking about uh, George and thinking about, you know, them. We experience once you dedicate your life to your craft and to your goals that the universe kind of unfolds for you and allows this pathway for you to accomplish all your goals. Um, with my Uncle George, Killing Every Day, he had in the past, what, two months? He has really dedicated, rededicated, because he had, had took a break from his brand. He rededicated his life, his soul, his energy into his brand. And he is now seeing the universe kind of unfold. And everything he kind of asked for of the universe, he is receiving. And I'm letting him know, hey, you asked for this and the universe has provided this is your sign that you're doing exactly what you need to do. Stay focused, stay dedicated. And I kind of feel like that with baby George as well. Uh, he's been dedicated. He's been um, really killing it with his uh, pressure washing business, detailing business. And then this beautiful opportunity, opportunity falls in his lap. So, and then same thing with uh, Scrubaholic. She's been killing it. Opportunity after opportunity, her pop-up shops, things that... Um, you know, people have been in the game longer are doing. She's mm -hmm. been doing two months. She's already in pop-up shop, pop-up shop. So it's just the universe. Pay attention to what goes around, uh, uh, goes on around you because whatever you ask for, you will get. So be careful what you ask for. I know they say that, but the universe will unfold as it did for us for the past two years. It just man, unwrap. Yep. So we got bigger things coming. Um, working on some contracts. So if there's anybody out there who has a facility, if there's anybody out there who has their own uh, print shop or anything of that sort, please reach out to us because our next phase of our business is to, is to grow our contracts. So we're looking to really solidify multiple contracts throughout the country. Uh, we're gonna talk to some people right now. Yeah. Some big people right now uh, that we made some, some transfers for. Uh, in fact, we have to go probably go hit up some other, definitely tomorrow. We'll hit, hit up some people before the end. Yeah, and then that's a new part of our journey as well. So once we execute that, figure out all the kinks, that's something that we can share with you on how to get contracts for your business. Because each yeah. one of the business we spoke about, having contracts for each one of those, you know, we yeah. have to learn it so we can teach it. <laughs> yeah, because I know, yeah, and you know what, that is going to be a very good video because there's mm -hmm. a lot of other people out here like, yeah, and I'll just end it on this, they're teaching these people to go out here who really don't have much and you're teaching them to go to print shops and thinking that they're just going to walk into a print shop and the print shop's going to be like, yeah, sure. I'm overbooked. Here's some work. doesn't work like that. Just. We'll let you know how it works. Yeah, we'll let you know how it works. Because <laughs> I promise you, it does not work like that. No print shop, especially in 2022, July, is going to turn down any work. It doesn't matter. They rather be late and have the work than on time and not have the work. So that's really just not a good business model. But, you know, when people don't know, they'll try anything. 
So that's why we're kind of, we're really go going against the grain. As we get bigger and enter the industry, you're gonna hear a lot of stuff that you've already heard from other sides. And then you're gonna be like, well, Carl and Shelly say this, <laughs> and you know we show our numbers. So is it working for us? Is there some trick in the background? Which there isn't, because it's just us. But, um, I mean, we have a team, but you know what I mean? Like, so I just wanted to leave it on that. Just, just be careful about what you watch out there. And, uh, you know, we don't, we don't have any affiliates, so. <laughs> we don't have any bosses, so it's just us. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this episode of uh, Flash Custom Transfers podcast, I guess. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Flash Custom Transfers, Trade of the Content podcast. Business podcast. Business podcast, you know we like to keep things basic, stands for business, automotive, sports, investing, and creating. And today we talked about wow. everything except for sports. Well, we can talk about sports. How about those Yankees? Anyway, all right, guys, that'll be it for this video. <laughs> Make sure you go check out our product, Flash Custom Transfers, our DTF product, and stay tuned for all our other products. And uh, we got some something big coming up here soon. So not a lot of people are doing it, but we got some things coming up here soon. Stay It'll tuned. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm. Be basic. Peace.